In this video, we're going to learn about block pricing. There are various pricing methods available in CPQ like list price, cost margin, block pricing. For block pricing implementation, we will first go and update the pricing method on the product. Then we're going to create the tiers. Then we are going to create a special currency field by name block fit. And at the last, we're going to create an average tier. In our example, we'll show how donuts can be sold in various tiers. To do that, we'll first go to the product donut. If I edit this particular product, the very first step would be to specify the pricing method, which is block over here. Then I'm going to create various tiers for this particular donut. Let's take for example, for tier one till 10 units, one, one, 11, price is five. We'll create one more tier. 11 till 15 units, 11, upper bound 16, price is six. If we want to sell more than 16 units, then we are going to specify an overage. To do that, we first have to create a custom field on the block price object. Go ahead and create a custom field. Currency. Make it visible, save it. Now we are going to create a one more block price for sixteen plus units. 16, upper is, we'll say it is 7, and 0 0.05 for every overage. That's it, see. To reiterate, to sell donuts, if the quantity is between 1 to 10, then price is 5, then 11 to 15, price is different. 16 plus, the price is different. Now, let's go ahead and see it in action. We will open any existing code. Edit line. Add product. Select. Over here, let's change the price to 11 and hit calculate. So now the price has changed to 6. Now, if I change this to 21, calculate, price is 7.25. If I make it 25, calculate price is 7.45 because for every additional product it is adding 0 0.05 cents to it if i make it 4 price is 5 just to reiterate uh, for block pricing first select a product pricing method then create tiers then create a special price currency field and then create an average tier thank you